Well, what you see happening here is a bit of uh, tracking. It's, uh, I'm using a DaVinci 10, the new beta. What I'm doing is I, uh, this fella here, I've shot him in S-Log in direct sunlight. This portion of his face was just a little bit too bright. This portion of his face is exposed okay. So what I'm doing is I'm tracking his uh, head movement and camera movement to make sure I can pull down the brightness on just this portion of his face. If I move this, notice how the brightness changes on that bit, right? He's bright there, he's dark there. Now I'm only affecting the bright portion of his face. Notice that the dark portion here is not changing. Only the bright bit. So all I'm doing is just making a little power window that's pulling that brightness down. So it evens up a little bit. And the reason that brightness is there is because I shot him in S-Log. Um, so the data's there. S-Log, of course, uh, squishing a whole bunch of uh, dynamic range into a uh, small uh, bit of color space and exposure space. It's a bit like shooting a film negative. So it looks kind of washed out. You shouldn't be using it as a final, but it means that the data's there for the color grade. There's a tip. Oh, and uh, Blackmagic's um, DaVinci 10 light is free. Software to do this is free. There are heaps of instructionals on YouTube. That's just a little uh, technique I'm using today just to fast track this stuff. It's always nice when you, make, when you can make your pictures look nice, eh?